uh, you know, I've been watching these videos, these First Amendment auditors and all that. Some of it's pretty interesting. Some of it's, you know, people challenging police just to get into that situation. But I've been searched twice, once by a search warrant that was obtained totally illegally when federal agents uh, Michael Bloxham, Gary Phillips, Georgia DNR, Steve Seitz, federal agent Hal Hamrick, they all went to Judge Melanie Connor in Gwinnett County and said I'd been buying illegal wildlife. What they did not tell Judge Connor was that the only purchase that was ever made was me as a cooperating private individual for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service uh, registered long term and out of Atlanta based on a memo that Monty Holcomb had and uh, they didn't tell Judge Connor that Gary Phillips, one of those agents involved, sent me $400 cash to do uh, an illegal wildlife transaction, which would have been a federal crime. He sent me to do the buy from Georgia DNR officer Steve Seitz. So then they had a search warrant. They basically took everything I owned. They took all the aquatic turtles I had as a collection in my backyard. They killed 365. It took me, I don't know, five, six, seven years to get the rest of them back that they didn't kill. So I got 128 back. I had 524. Some people would say, good God, that's, you know, like hoarding turtles. Well, sort of, kind of. I was breeding the heck out of them, but I wasn't selling them. I never sold any. I don't believe in commerce and wildlife. That's why I was helping him as a cooperating private individual. But they searched me then. They missed two pieces of evidence. They missed the FedEx envelope that Gary Phillips sent me the cash in, and they missed the audio tape recording of the of the buy. They had the videotape recording that they played in trial. It took me three years to get a trial. I'd sued these agents, and uh, it took me three years to get a trial, 21 charges. Uh, the jury went out with 17 charges. The judge had to dismiss the other charges between 17 to 21 because they were conflicting. I mean, you can't, you know, you, you can't be convicted of having a, an apple if it was an orange, but you're charged for having an orange and an apple at the same time, but it's only one. It's not both. So what, which one is it, an apple or an orange? So they, that we got the charges reduced down to 17 for the jury, and the jury came back not guilty on all 17 charges. I had two federal civil rights lawsuits one against Steve Seitz and one against uh, Bloxham and Phillips out of Alabama. That They were considered federal agents, so it was a Bivens action. I won the Bivens action that they had basically robbed me before they got a search warrant. And Steve Seitz had said in his lawsuit with Judge Duffy out of Atlanta, Judge Duffy was the most disgusting, corrupt federal, uh, federal judge there ever was. Uh, you know, sorry, Judge Thrash, you're awesome, and I know you might have been friends with him or something. I don't know, but he was terrible. So Judge Thrash was awesome because he let my case go to trial, but Judge Duffy uh, ruled against me because Steve Seitz said I wasn't there when they were robbing Steve Santuff, you know. And uh, so the judge slammed me with $50,000 worth of attorney fees, and... I ended up getting Steve Seitz's time card because my lawsuit said on or about the 14th of July, 2005. So he's like, no, I was on vacation holiday from the July 4th. That was my day off. Okay, well, on July 15th, your time card is detailed that he's with federal agents basically at my house conducting uh, uh, investigations for a search warrant. Well, that's when they were robbing me. So I said, I said on or about the 14th of July. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure the 15th of July would be on or about, you know, one day's difference. In, in when you make a complaint like that, it's legit to be one day off on some kind of complaint. And uh, so the judge slammed me with $50,000 worth of attorney fees, and I kept getting letters. Uh, one guy was an attorney named Beter Bender, and I can't, I don't know how to spell it. I talked, I didn't talk to him. I call, had my dad call him. But uh, Beter Bender ended up saying, yeah, you know what? We do realize it is an illegal judgment. So the state attorney general's office had hired uh, that law firm, and Beter Bender told my dad, my dad, I had my dad call him, I said, Dad, you need to call these people, man, you need to tell them, it's, it's, this is a bad, bad deal, they better be very cautious of proceeding with this, because it's, it's highly, highly illegal, there's been some fraud going on here with these, uh, Georgia State Attorney's Office, and these officers and stuff, so my dad talked to Beter Bender, and Beter Bender said, you know what, I've seen the Supreme Court brief and everything, and it was totally a fraudulent, illegal judgment issued by Duffy. Totally illegal. But, you know, I'm just kind of part of the law firm, and we're just kind of doing this. But it turns out they withdrew. They wouldn't keep helping. That was the last time I got any letters, so having my dad call was really good. But this actually is about, um, let's just make this part one. 
part one of the first time I was searched. That's what we're going to do. And then I'll do a video on part two, the second time I was searched. And basically what I'm going to do the next time somebody wants to search me, uh, which is just uh, stick to my rights, you know, just be like, here's my, you know, license, here's my other credentials, and hey, you know what, I'm a Fifth Amendment supporter. Are you sworn to uphold the Constitution? Get me an attorney if you have any questions for me. And then, you know, hey, I've got a Fourth Amendment right, you know, I'm not going to consent to your searches. I'm not going to consent to any searches. You got plain view only. Oh, you're a wildlife officer? Plain view only, buddy. Uh, you know, please do not make this a violation of my Fourth Amendment rights to be free from search and seizure. Um, so, this is part one. Stay tuned for part two, the second time I was searched. All right, bye-bye.